Welcome to No Code MBA and welcome to this tutorial on how to use the Webflow CMS. After the video, if you want to learn more about Webflow or building with other no code tools, check out the link in our description for our free no code tool guide to learn about all of the different no code tools, as well as our complete guide to Webflow to learn how to build real projects in Webflow from start to finish. So what is a CMS? So a CMS in Webflow, and I am here um, in the Webflow designer, and I'll talk a little bit about the different areas of the designer as I um, go into them in this tutorial. So the Webflow CMS is essentially a database for your um, Webflow site. It's a database to store all of the content that you're going to dynamically show on uh, your Webflow site. So what's the difference between the dynamic website with dynamic content and a static website? So a static website um, imagine a website that um, you create, it's one page, you are going to hard code um, in static information onto that uh, page. So imagine, you know, we just put this information here directly onto the web page and it can't be changed in the back end. There's no database that uh, that information is being pulled from. We can't order the information dynamic dynamically. Um, we can't do anything dynamically with that information on the on the site. And then there also wouldn't be um, blog post pages or template pages based on the information in our content database. So in the CMS, the content management system here, uh, on the left side, um, right now we have it set up with uh, two different uh, collections. So in Webflow, uh, each collection is essentially a table in the database. So if you're familiar with um, SQL, uh, if you're a little more technical, you can think of a um, collection as a table. A table is basically one topic that has um, rows in a database. You could think of it as a spreadsheet as well, or an Excel spreadsheet or a Google sheet. So here we have a um, table or spreadsheet, or um, here in Webflow it's called a collection of blog posts and um, in this collection we can have as many blog posts as we want stored in our database here in webflow and inside um, each um, collection item so in webflow we have our collection here on the left side each of these blog posts is a collection item and in the the collection settings here we can go into the settings and you can see you can add different fields to each collection item. And here, for example, you can add a field and you can add any of these field types, um, text, images, um, dates, for example, colors. So there's a lot that you can add here. Um, what I'm gonna talk about in a minute is references and multi-references. This is um, something that makes Webflow really powerful, which we'll get to in a minute. Uh, but before that, I wanna go into um, an individual collection item. So this is a blog post and here you can see this is the post body. Um, this is a rich text field, which means that you can have different um, uh, uh, fonts and uh, font sizes um, here, and you can add links and kind of um, customize the way that the text looks here in the post body. Uh, we have a post summary. And then here um, is a reference field. So this is the category, and we're referencing our other collection and this is really powerful so here you can see the category is music here and if we go back to our category collection here you can see the different categories you could also use this for things like an author so um, if you had um, a list of authors um, in the blog post you could just reference that author so that way any information about that author which you'll see in a second with this category um, you wouldn't have to like manually type in the author's name, the author's bio, the author's image, um, all in this uh, blog post. All you have to do is reference that field and then all the information about the author, or in this case, the category which we're referencing, would be pulled in. So if we had a description for you know the travel category, we wouldn't need to write that description here into the uh, blog post. Um, collection item, all we have to do is reference um, that category. So it's really, really helpful. Uh, Multi-reference is similar, but that would be um, allowing us to add 
uh, multiple categories. So a reference field, you can only pick one. Multi-reference, you could have multiple um, categories, in this case, reference to the blog post. So that could also be helpful if you have, you know, for example, potentially multiple authors um, of a blog post, um, just as an example. Um, so here uh, we have our blog post and our category, and now I'm going to show you um, how we are able to display that information on our Webflow site. So here um, on Webflow, um, I'm not going to go into too much detail about how to actually uh, style this and set it up. Again, um, check out the link in our description to check out our full um, Webflow course to learn more about how to set this up from scratch. But here we have a collection um, list. So I'll go into the, um, the elements here on our page. And we have a collection list wrapper. So in Webflow, a collection on our page is going to allow us to dynamically display the data that we've set up in our CMS. So here, if we go to the settings, you can see the source here is a blog post. And you choose that source once you set up your CMS item or once you set up your collection um, on your page here. And then uh, inside each item, uh, we only have to style um, e one of these individual collection items. And then all of the other collection items will dynamically uh, display. So just as an example, if I delete this description, it's going to be deleted on every collection item here on the page. And I'm going to undo that. And same if I made it, um, if I go to the style, and let's say I made the font weight bold, um, same thing, it's going to affect every item on the page. And this is where Webflow is really, really powerful. You can also see here that if we do the post info, click on music and click on the settings here. And again, this is just a brief overview. Um, you'll, you can check out our other tutorials to learn more about, to more about how to set this up um, step by step. But here, um, we, what we're doing is you can get the text from the blog post. And what you can see here is we are pulling in that category from the category name. And you can see the, the post summary is being pulled in from the post summary. So if we change that to category name, it would change to music. And if we change it back to post summary, we're going to see that post summary here. Um, so now what I'm going to do is show you the uh, CMS collection page. So this is a page that is automatically created whenever you create a collection in your CMS, um, but you don't have to actually style the page. Um, but if you do style it, then Webflow is going to uh, automatically generate pages for each collection item. So in our case, uh, this is a blog, so we want a different page for each blog post. So here we have our blog post template. And this is uh, a page that is automatically generated for each blog post that we have. And the slug here is the URL. So the slug is what uh, is going to give users access to the page. So you can see uh, website.com slash posts slash um, half and half variety, et cetera. So this is the slug here um, for the URL that this page is going to be hosted on. And then here, on the template page itself, you can see we're pulling in the title, the name here. Uh, and then this is just that uh, post body rich text element, which is pulling in uh, the blog post itself. So I hope this was a helpful overview of what the CMS is in Webflow and can help you start to think about how you can use it in your own websites. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below and check out the link in our description to learn more about no code. Uh, check out our comparison of different no code tools in our free no code tool guide, or check out our complete guide to Webflow to learn how to build real projects from start to finish. Thanks, and I'll see you in the next video.